We're learning more tonight about the teenager behind the wheel of the car yesterday that plowed into a group of students in the Hill District. Police released new details this afternoon. Brenda Waters is live at police headquarters with the latest. Brenda. Ken, as we know, seven students were hit by that driver yesterday in the Upper Hill District. Today, according to police, a seventh person went to the hospital today. That person did not need medical attention today, and those injuries don't appear to be life-threatening. Six students injured and hospitalized with broken bones and bruises. Three of them are now released. Many of the students who witnessed the crash are still traumatized. And this morning, Malayans University Prep offered counseling for those who wanted it or needed it. The scene was horrific at the intersection of Center Avenue and Ewart Drive. Victims lying in the street and on the sidewalk, all hit by a teenage driver behind the wheel of this Chrysler sedan. Regarding the driver of the vehicle, First, it does not appear that this incident was malicious in any way. Rather, it appears that the driver might have been somehow trying to show off in the vehicle and then lost control of the car. Um, the driver had a learner's permit and should not have been driving the vehicle without an adult passenger. She did have a passenger in the car, but he was not an adult. He was 14. Initially, the driver and her male passenger left the scene but returned. No charges have been filed at this time, but police are continuing to investigate. Now, investigators say part of this investigation will be whether or not the young lady behind the wheel had permission to be driving the car. Reporting live at Major Crimes, Brenda Waters, KDKA TV News.